What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. Happy Saturday as they're going to be doing a throwback rebuild with the Philadelphia 76ers back when they had one of my favorite players of all time, Allen Iverson. Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like in this one. Of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. As always, greatly appreciated. Leaving a like and subscribing is definitely very helpful on the road to 30,000 subscribers. So if you could help out with that, that'd be greatly, greatly awesome. Thank you. So looking at the Philadelphia 76ers back in 2002, Allen Iverson, of course, is the story here. Back in NBA 2K2 on GameCube, I used to use her, the Philadelphia 76ers, all the time just so I could play with Allen Iverson. So I'm excited to kind of rebuild this team today. And if you look at the roster, outside of Allen Iverson, there's not a lot to be excited about. So we are going to try to change that today. So uh, let's just simulate season one. I don't really think I'm going to do anything to start things off. I know for sure we need to get Allen Iverson help here. He's a 94 overall, 27 years old, literally pretty much entering his prime. So definitely need to find this man some help out there in the trade finder or through free agency, whatever it may be. We got to find a way to make this team better. So that is the game plan today to win a championship with Allen Iverson. We talking about practice, right? No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's go ahead and simulate this season. Let's see how we do. And uh, we're probably going to be bad. I would assume. Well, I don't know. I mean, Allen Iverson might actually carry us to the promised land. Who knows? So I'm going to simulate this season out where you plan on making this a championship team. Getting Allen Iverson a ring today, and that is going to be the ultimate goal. So right now, we're actually a decent team in the Eastern Conference, but I'm looking to make this team even better. I'm looking to make some type of trade if I can. So I'm throwing Keith Van Horn and Eric Snow in the trade finder, seeing what pops up. And there is two trades that I like in particular. So we're going to start with this one, and that is Kenyon Martin oh, and Dikembe Mutombo. Uh, obviously, Mutombo did play in Philadelphia with Allen Iverson, I believe, uh, for a second. And then you got Kenyon Martin, who would be really nice. But I also like this trade a lot. We do get Stephon Marbury at 25 years old. Also get Bo Outlaw, but Stephon Marbury and Allen Iverson could be our new backcourt. That would be a lot of fun. So I think I am going to ultimately make this trade right here. We are trading a uh, 20 or 2007 first round pick, but Stephon Marbury, I don't think I could pass up on. So Stephon Marbury is going to be a lot more help to Allen Iverson than what we have currently. So Marbury and Allen Iverson is the backcourt we're going to have for the future here in Philadelphia. So I'm excited about that first move. Obviously, there's still moves to be made. But that's a good first step to this process. So Shaq's going to win MVP. Yao Ming's going to win Rookie of the Year. Bobby Jackson, sixth man in Sacramento. Ben Wallace, defensive player. El Gowska is most approved in Cleveland. And Greg Povich is your coach of the year. And Stan Myers is your executive. So all be first team. I'm going to assume Allen Iverson made one of these. He did. So all be a second team for AI. I mean, we were a good team. And I feel like we haven't even put the best team around him, which is awesome. So we are the second seed in the East, which is a really good sign of what we have already. Uh, but if you take a look at the stats, Allen Iverson averaged 26, 25 from Stephon Marbury. So I'm very, very excited about this backcourt together going future. Obviously, the rest of the roster still needs work. But Derek Coleman, actually not too bad at 35 years old. Don't plan on him being the center for the future, but, you know, he's not too bad for now. Aaron, like a lot of this roster is just kind of aging around, around uh, I almost said Monty Williams, around Allen Iverson. That is Monty Williams right there, though. Uh, so we need to fix that. I don't expect to win a chips this year, but you never really know. Get to play the New York Knicks, who have Charlie Ward, Allen Houston, Latrell Sprewell, Kurt Thomas. I mean, I feel like we could beat this team, but you never know. And we do. Wow, we blow a 3-0 lead to start off this rebuild. Love to see that. So, you got New York almost pushing Toronto. And then Toronto goes on to win a championship with Vince Carter. And uh, shout out to the 76ers. But it looks like we got some work to do in the offseason as we blew a 3-0 lead in the first round, which is not good. John Stockton's retiring. Got Scottie Pippen and Chris Dudley retiring. So, a lot of retirements here. Charles Oakley, Mark Jackson. Let's go straight to, uh, I mean, we can look at some historic changes real quick. I don't think anything's changing for us, at least not yet. We're going to go straight to the lottery. Uh, so we're obviously not going to have a first round you know, lottery pick here. We were in the playoffs, uh, but we do end up with pick number. Where is our pick? And I actually don't see where our pick is at. Unless if it's going to someone, oh, it's going to the Celtics. So the Celtics have our pick. Interesting. I'm not sure. Obviously, I don't know what that's from, but that's from a long time ago. So I have no idea. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill this coaching staff. We don't have a draft pick, so we're not going to be able to draft anybody, which is fine with me. We'll just kind of build through free agency and through trades, which is something I'm very comfortable with doing. So in the 2003 redraft, Atlanta gets Dwayne Wade. Carmelo goes to the Denver Nuggets. Chris Bosh to the Blazers. Grizzlies get LeBron James at number four. You got Rudy Williams going number six or number five to the Cavaliers. Chris Kamen, Glenn Scott, Bernard Westbrook, and then Raymond Wise. Okay, so rookie signing, we got Thomas Todd. Not even going to sign them. Player options, none. And then qualifying offers, none as well. So for free agency, uh, taking a real quick look, I don't think we have a lot of money. I mean, we actually maybe could get some money freed up. I'm not really sure. So I know Marbury and Allen Iverson are both making a lot of money, obviously. But outside of them, it's got like Bo Outlaw making a little bit. So 
I think we're going to have to get really creative through the trade. So we're going to throw these two together just to start things off. Uh, because we do need like a whole lineup outside of what we already have right now. So we get a first round pick in Greg Ostertag, Doug Kriske. Um, honestly, looking to get cheaper here. So yeah, like Chris Anderson, our first round pick. That's going to be kind of perfect for what we're looking for. Like I said, we need to get cheaper. But we can get Manu Ginobili in a first from the Spurs. Yeah, that might have to be the move we make. Manu Ginobili only making a million dollars. Sign me up for that. I don't know why Spurs would ever do that, but it does not matter. Not looking to be crazy realistic today, obviously, since uh, you know I feel like it'd be really tough to be realistic back in this day, I guess, if that makes sense. So, Bo Outlaw and then uh, Greg Buckner, I guess we can throw in the trade as well and kind of see what we can get here. So, you got a couple guys being offered. Mike James in a second. Uh, first round pick we can get like a, another Manu Ginobili trade that'd be kind of nice but I don't know if that pops up again we could just dump him off for two first we might be able to do that Chris Anderson and you got like a first in Huber Davis another couple first you got Damon Stoudemire I think I am going to go ahead and trade them to the Denver Nuggets uh actually to the Nets for these couple first round picks just to dump off money to have money kind of freed up so now we have uh Alan Iverson Manu Ginobili and Stefan Meyerberry which I like Monty Williams right now is a small forward uh, probably gonna have to stay the small forward and they got like singleton charles carter which i don't know any of these guys obviously they might just be roster fillers for all i know uh but you got Derek coleman as a free agent which i wouldn't mind signing him back as a backup but obviously don't really need him as a starter we're almost really close to being able to sign like tim duncan here imagine tim duncan Allen iverson jermaine o'neal i got him in the last video elton brand who obviously i think is a front office member of the 76ers now so maybe you could grab him to play with Allen iverson here that would be all my money but it could be worth it. So I'm going to offer Elton Brand a contract. 24 years old, has no other offers. So we're going to get Elton Brand to be our brand new power forward. And like I said, our roster outside of that is going to be pretty bad. Not going to lie to you. But we have a nice big three. Uh, so we'll work with it. So Derek Coleman, going to have to kind of sign him now to be probably our starting center at this point. You got Earl Boykin. So yeah, this roster is going to be kind of bad. Uh, our bench is going to be pretty bad, but we're going to make it work. So Earl Boykins could be our backup point guard. And then small forwards got like, James Granger, which again, going to have to roll with him. And then power forward, you got like, uh, or you got a center, which I guess I can grab like uh, Vladimir, whatever this guy is. I don't know. So we sign all of them. Those would be kind of our bench, which isn't great by any means, but it'll work. So that is going to be kind of our rotation. It's going to be Stefan Marbury, Earl Boykins. You got Allen Iverson, Manu Ginobili. You got James Granger, Monty Wimstar. Starting small forward is James Granger, Elton Brand, and then Derek Coleman. Uh, so it's not great. It's not great. So Granger right now being our small forward is not, does not have me that excited. So I wonder if I could find a way to get a cheaper small forward out there, which is what my game plan is going to be next. Let me see if I can find a small forward who's a little cheap, but it's going to be just a little bit better than what we have. So I'm going to try to grab Shane Battier from the Memphis Grizzlies. They just drafted LeBron James. So maybe they're looking to move away from Shane Battier. I think I would have to include a first in this trade for it to work. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this New Jersey unprotected for Shane Battier. They don't agree to that just yet. What if I threw you this guy named Al Singleton? Is he just increasing your interest? Probably not, right? So let's go 2007 Spurs pick. They still don't agree to that. I really do need a starting small forward very badly. So do I throw three first in this trade? I do, I think. I'm kind of desperate at this point. Three first for Shane Battier. They still don't agree to that. So never mind. So uh, Sam Cassell is not going to be able to do it either. We'll keep looking. We got Michael Red at 23 years old. I doubt we get that to go through. I'm going to just keep doing this until I find my small forward. You got Jalen Rose making too much. Uh, Jermaine, Jermaine Jones, no thank you. Paul Pierce making too much. There's going to be a small forward out there for me. I know there is. Shane Battier, we already tried. Gwen Robinson making a little too much. Uh, you got Karam Butler at 23 years old. Okay, we can try this. All this for Karam Butler. They don't agree to that either. We're going to keep going until we find it, man. I promise you. And you got Wesley, 6'1". Oh, don't really want to play on a small forward. Not really any. Andre Karolinko. AK-47, 22-year-old, AK-47. They don't agree to that. Oh, my goodness, man. We're just missing everybody. What else we got? Andre Miller. Uh, we got Peja, Peja Stoyakovich making just a little too much. Gerald Wallace. I guess wouldn't be too bad. Latrell Sprewell. So if I can't find anything, maybe Gerald Wallace is the move. Uh, we probably get him for a little bit cheaper than what I'm offering right now. Michael Finley. Uh, Richard Jefferson. Yeah, it's not going to happen. So I think we're just going to trade for Gerald Wallace. Where was he at? He should be pretty easy to get, I would imagine. He was somewhere around here. Jared Wallace was on, I think he was over here. So there he is, Jared Wallace. So I don't want to offer three first round picks for him, but let's say we offered Monty Williams and this guy, or just Monty Williams for Jared Wallace. They want Derek Coleman. Look at me, Scott Pollard. How about I just give you a first unprotected? They don't agree. And a second 
and then okay we get jared wallace to be our starting small four that's gonna make me feel just a little bit better because he's 21 years old maybe could progress a little bit so that is gonna be our roster in philadelphia very interesting roster outside of Allen iverson's got ai elton brand Stephon marbury ginobili's going down at 26 makes no sense Derek coleman going down makes sense obviously so yeah guys going down is not really surprising but you know we're gonna do our best here so we're gonna look at the rotation together i'm gonna auto generate this class or so use the 2004 draft class they suggest first and then i'll load a different one but let's look at the rotation now that we have kind of our new rotation around Allen Iverson, so Stephon Marbury, Allen Iverson, Jared Wallace, Elton Brand, Derek Coleman, Manu Ginobili, Boykins, James Granger, and uh, Vladimir, St I don't know how to say his last name, but Vladimir as our backup center. Proficiency is a three and a half post centric. Um, we could be four, three and a half balanced. So I'm going to run it three and a half balanced and hopefully Allen Iverson, Stephon Marbury, and Elton Brand can go out here and win a championship in season number two. Because we were get, we were a very good team in season number one. We just got bounced out in the first round in a very, very unfortunate way. But let's see what happens. So Kobe Bryant wins MVP. Rest in peace, Mamba. As always, LeBron James, Rookie of the Year in Memphis. You got Grant Hill, six man. Andre Karolinko, defensive player. Richard Hamilton is your most approved in LA. And then Phil Jackson, Coach of the Year. And I'm sure that's for the Lakers it is. And then Jason Taylor is your executive. So I'll be a first team. Kobe, Jason Kidd. KG, Tim Duncan, Shaquille O'Neal. I'll be a second team. You got Vince Card, Elton Brand making all NBA second teams. Very excited. He averaged 21 and 13. So signing Elton Brand seemed like a really good deal for us. And then uh, I'll be a third team. No Allen Iverson this time around. So it looks like Elton Brand kind of took a uh, nice role here in uh, Philadelphia, which I'm okay with. So we are the first seed in the Eastern Conference. Was not really expecting that, honestly. Take a look at the stats for this year. You had uh, 19.8 from Stephon Marbury, 21 from Elton Brand, then 22 and a half and eight assists from Allen Iverson. So our big three looks like it's doing a pretty good job. Derek Coleman, honestly, at 36 years old, is putting up pretty good stats. Uh, don't love him being my starting center going forward, but, you know, kind of had to work with what we had. Manu Ginobili up to 10 and five, and then seven from Jared Wallace as a starting small forward. Granger, and then Vladimir had four and five off the bench. Not too shabby. So can we win a championship this year is the question. So you get to play uh, the Washington Wizards. They do not have MJ anymore, it looks like. They have Jerry Stackhouse, Larry Hughes, Lamar Odom, Juwan Howard, Brendan Haywood. I mean, it'll be interesting to see who could beat this team. I imagine we're the better team. I mean, I don't see how we lose this. If we lose to an AFC, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. And we beat them in six. So that was kind of closer than I wanted it to be. But we do take care of business. 33 for Stephon Marbury in that closeout game. And now we get the Atlanta Hawks, who drafted Dwayne Wade, if I'm not mistaken. So Jason Terry, Dwayne Wade, uh, Gordon Robinson, Sharif. You got Theo. You got Nazir Mohammed, Carlos, and then Tyrone Hill. So, I mean, this team looks like it could give us some trouble. A Terry and Dwayne Wade backcourt's pretty interesting then uh, with Sharif, but I like my roster better. Game one, we are up 1-0, 30 from Allen Iverson, 25-19 and 19 from Elton Brand. Game two, up 2-0. Two to zero. Game three, up 3-0, to zero. and we could beat them in four, and we're on to the Eastern Conference Finals to play the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, you know, Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Bucks, obviously, just kidding. Giannis is not here at this point. We got Sam Cassell, Ray Allen, Michael Red, Tim Thomas, Wes Descano. This could be actually a team that gives us a lot of problems. I'm already looking at this roster. Having Sam Cassell, Ray Allen, and Michael Red, that's pretty scary. I'm not going to lie to you. So I'm a little nervous about this one. I do like my lineup, but at the same time, I really do like uh, what we see here in Milwaukee. So let's see what happens. Game one, we're up 1-0. to zero. Good start. Beat them by 20. They do even it up, though. Game three, up 2-1. to one. Game four, up 3-1. to one. Wow. I honestly surprised we were able to beat them that easily, but it looks like we might get the Lakers, which we do. So we get a rematch of the Lakers versus 76ers. Derek Fisher, Kobe Bryant. Shaquille O'Neal, you got Byron Brewer, Devontae. I mean, outside of Kobe and Shaq, this team's roster is not that great, but it's Kobe and Shaq for crying out loud. So that doesn't really matter. But I mean, that could play into our favor. So Allen Iverson versus Kobe. Here we go. Game one, we're down one to zero. Game two, we even it up though. Game three, two to one for them. We need to win game four, which we do not. Game five, we lose. We lose to the Los Angeles Lakers in five. So Kobe and Shaq proved to just be too dominant for us. And uh, we lose here. But that's okay. We can still run it back again. We got Steve Kerr retiring on the Lakers. So maybe that'll help us out next year. Derek Coleman is going to retire. I'm actually going to override that because I think I could use him in a trade. I kind of need to. Kim Olajuwon retires a Raptor. Carl Malone retiring. And then pretty much. All right. Let's go to historic changes. See if there's anything happening with us. Nothing. Got the Blazers. We got some things changing around the league. To the draft lottery we go. We did trade for some lottery picks. We might be here somewhere maybe. Probably not. Doesn't look like it. So... I guess we traded a lot of our picks and the Blazers get number one. So they might be able to draft Dwight Howard here unless they want to take somebody else because, you know, the Blazers and then that one pick have not always had the greatest past, I will say. 
Uh, but our coaching staff is completely full. So let's just head straight to the draft. And we got to find a way to make this roster better. So I'm looking at Derek Coleman. Although he's been good, I would love to be younger at that position. So Derek Coleman and let's say, I don't know, is there anyone else? Like I'm not trading Elton Brand and I'm not trading Allen Iverson, obviously. I have Vladimir and then I have like Ron Howard or Richard Howard and I'll throw my first round pick. I don't know if this gets me anything good, but we can look. Speedy Claxton, I guess that gets me like a... Uh, we got Mohammed, who's a little bit younger, which actually might not be a terrible idea. Brian Grant and a first. We got two first round picks being offered. So there's some decent offers here. Sean Bradley, uh, Edmund Brown, and then Cart Williamson, Todd McCullough, Penny Hardaway. Uh, so I like this first offer quite a bit where we get a first round pick and a really good backup point guard. I also like this Mohammed offer though, which I think it makes sense. And we get Tyrone Hill. I think we got to do this trade. This is kind of like a two for here where we get two rotational pieces. So I'm going to do that trade, uh, which did we trade our draft pick in this draft i'm pretty sure we did yeah so we don't have a draft pick in this draft anymore so this goes straight to player option which i don't believe we have any but yeah none and then qualifying offers we got nothing here as well so free agency i think gerald wallace might be a free agent uh, which i would like to have him back Stephon marbury is also free agent so i guess we could pass up on Stephon marbury we got like tony parker here which we're not too far off from signing him so i guess if we do want Stephon marbury anymore we could go crazy and sign like kg which uh That'd be interesting to have like a KG Elton Brand front court. Pau Gasol also is an option if we wanted to be better at the center spot. So there are some options here if we wanted to go away from Stefan Marbury. So I'm kind of considering it. So right now, no point guard. Allen Iverson, got Elton Brand, and then Tyrone Hill. And then we have Muhammad and Vladimir. So right now, we pretty much have nothing. Jared Wallace is going to be the starting small forward. Uh, we would not have a point guard if we did make this move, but our front court would be awesome. And back then the day, having a good front court is what you needed. So... I am going to go ahead. Well, it looks like I have to free up a little bit of money somewhere, which that's going to have to be done through probably Vladimir, honestly. If I'm going to go for something here, I'm going to have to make some kind of move. So I'm going to trade Vladimir to the Chicago Bulls to dump off some salary here. And we're going to offer Pau Gasol a contract to be a Philadelphia 76er, which we are not number one there. That sucks. Andre Karolinko, actually, I guess could be also interesting. He averaged... Uh, 14 last year. You got Stephon Marbury still we could bring back. Kenyon Martin. Uh, honestly, if I'm not getting... Well, Tony Park and Allen Iverson would be an interesting backcourt, I will say. And then KG. He wants a little too much money, but I guess an offer him anyway. So the 76ers were actually the number two offer. Parker, where's number one on... Oh, man. So we're not going to get any of these guys. Not going to be able to get any of them. So Stephon Marbury has no offers yet. I'll wait and see if I get lucky on any of them. So they're all going to accept other offers, which makes sense. I uh, kind of figured that was going to happen, and boom. Yeah, so they're all gone. So I guess we might as well just get Stephon Marbury back at this point and then get basically everyone, unless there's someone else still sitting here, but don't think so. So I'm just going to offer Stephon Marbury's contract. Uh, we should. Yeah, where's number one offer? And I do want Jared Wallace back as well. So get those two things back. That'd be great. So we sign Stephon Marbury and Jared Wallace to come back. I mean, we could always sign and trade Stephon Marbury. Like, that's still an option as well. So I guess we just, sign we just signed him and get... Let's see what our offers are, I guess, around the league. We have Baron Davis, which is interesting. But Chauncey Billups at 27. We get Williamson as well. Uh, first round pick, Jamal Crawford, Keith Van Horn, which we did earlier. So no, might as well not bring that back. Okay. So that's going to be kind of a roster. So Marbury, Allen Iverson, Jared Wallace, Elton Brand, and then Muhammad. So we definitely still need backups and a lot of positions. So we got Brevin Knight as a backup point guard, which we're going to probably need. So we'll sign him. Uh, Manu Ginobili. We didn't have his bird rights on him, did we not? Where's Manu Ginobili? I forgot that he was even here. Ginobili might be gone already, which is actually really unfortunate. So I got to find it. Did I mess up on Ginobili? Because that's going to be a huge loss to our bench, honestly. So Ginob, uh, I think this is how you spell Ginobili. He signed with the Utah Jazz. Wow. He got a bag too. Damn. So I, I lost uh, Manu Ginobili. That's not good. Okay. What else can I sign here? Uh, we got Robert Horry, which I traded earlier. We got Ostertag and we got Foyle. So... Yeah, not going to be the greatest bench in the world. Again, Oral Boykins. I mean, I wouldn't mind back. Uh, as far as what else we got, like Granger, we could bring him back again. So losing Ginobili is going to be huge, man. I did not, uh, for, I forgot about him, honestly. I didn't have his bird rights, I guess, and it didn't really show me up. So Gary Trent also here. Um, All right, looking at the rotation as it fully sits right now. Uh, Stefan, Brevin Knight, Allen Iverson, Joe Wallace, James Granger. Uh, Elter Brand and then Tyrone Hill, and then you have Foyle and Mohammed. So, yeah, by no means it's the best roster. I think I still want to make some kind of upgrade. I got to. I got to see if there's a way I can make some kind of upgrade.
I'm willing to make some type of upgrade. I'm already trying to go for Dwight Howard, who was just drafted. I don't really know if the Blazers do this, but I'm offering every pick I own in Muhammad for Dwight Howard. They do not agree to that, obviously. Um, can I throw another pick in here? So this is all my draft picks. Not going to get Dwight Howard. I'm not giving up till we get a better center. So Dwight Howard would have been my dream scenario here. Eric Dampier, Zach Randolph. And you got, I already tried for Dwight Howard, Mark Jackson. Uh, or was that Mark Jackson? Who was that? That was, yeah, it was Mark Jackson. Okay, and then... Stoudemire would be cool as well, but I couldn't get the salary to match there at all. Like, I, no matter what I threw in there, it didn't matter. Uh, as far as what else we can find, we got Mason, Ricky Wise, nothing I'm really liking too much at all. So, Tim Duncan is going to be kind of impossible. Yao Ming, I already tried for, not going to happen. So, Yao Ming, unfortunately, would be awesome as well, but that is just not going to happen. And you got, like, Tyson Chandler. Actually, Tyson Chandler only making $4 million actually could happen. I haven't tried this one yet, so... I don't know if I even have to give up this much. Let's try to... Let's start the bidding off with three first for Tyson Chandler. They don't agree to that. Okay. Fair enough. I'll give you... Actually, I probably shouldn't be including any players because this is our year to go win a championship. Man, this is a lot of draft capital to give up for Tyson Chandler, but I am desperate to go win a championship with Allen Iverson. They still don't agree to that. Wow. I threw literally five firsts at them and they still don't agree to this. Wow, man. Getting a center is hard business. So, Ogowska is making too much money. I guess Eddie Curry wouldn't be too bad. He's going to be a little bit cheaper. Maybe I only have to give up like two first to make this happen. Eddie Curry would be just at least a better overall. Maybe I can do this without giving up uh, Mohammed. He'd be my backup. And then I give up, let's say, Foil instead. We're a little off from this one. And I Granger, I guess. So all this for Curry. They don't agree to that. Still a second. Please accept. No. Wow. This is okay. Finally, we get something to go through. So we got Allen Iverson, Brevin Knight, Allen Iverson, Gerald Wallace, Elton Brand, and then Tyrone Hill. We kept Muhammad, and we have Eddie Curry as our new center. So that was uh, tough, but you know what? We're probably going to be running an eight-man rotation this year. We really don't have anything else to go for. So that was our massive upgrade. Obviously, I tried for like Yao Ming, and that was going to be my dream scenario. But yeah, this is going to be your kind of your rotation here in Philly. So we have been really close to winning a championship. Obviously, got really close last year. Uh, but we're looking to do even better this year. So let's go see if we can make that happen. So Kobe once again wins MVP. Dwight Howard's rookie year in Portland. You got Grant Hill, six man. Yao main defensive player. Burks is your most approved. And Larry Brown is your coach of the year, which is us, by the way, which we went 64 and 18. So this simulation went so much better for us. Uh, Stuart Finley as well, which is aka me for the roster I've put together here in Philadelphia. No NBA first team members, but uh, members, but Allen Iverson and Elton Brand both represent NBA second team. Elton Brand has been an amazing signing, so I'm so glad we got him. And then Allen Iverson, 25 as well. All NBA third team. Uh, obviously, we don't have like Stefan Marbury here or anything like that, but uh, I think that's basically it. So we are the first team in the Eastern Conference. We get to play the Chicago Bulls in round one. As long as there's no AFC upsets, we're pretty good. So yeah, Eddie Curry made a massive difference. 17 points per game, seven rebounds, also one and a half blocks per game. So he was an amazing addition to the roster. That center position was so much more improved, and you could tell by the record, obviously. Nine points from Mohammed. You had eight from Jared Wallace, five from Brevin Knight, and then four from Tyrone Hill. So not too bad. Obviously, we're running an eight-man rotation, very short rotation. But all that matters is, is we're going to win a championship this year. Uh, this, is, this year. This is what we need to do. We cannot. It's all for nothing. So Chicago's got Dirk Fisher, Bernard Westbrook, Jalen Rose, Tyson Chandler, and Marcus Fizzer. I don't think we should lose this roster, but you never really know with this game. So many current round against Chicago. We beat them in five. Take quick work of them. And now we get... The Pacers, who have Jay Williams, Fred Jones, Al Harrington, Jermaine O'Neal, which I could have gotten him earlier, but I decided to change it up because I believe I got him in the Raptors video, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm glad to have Elton Brand here. Elton Brand is going to dominate Jermaine O'Neal. Game one, game two, game three, and we're going to sweep the Pacers. Nope, beat them in five, please. Yeah, okay. Back into the East Conference Finals to play the Milwaukee Bucks. We did end up eliminating this team last year, but it is still a very good roster that I'm looking at. So I'm a little nervous still. Because they could get their revenge here. Uh, but hopefully we can just take care of business just like last year. And we got the Lakers and the Spurs on the other side. So two really good teams waiting for us on the other side if we do get past Milwaukee. So game one, we're up 1-0. Great start. Beat them pretty badly here by 16. Game two, they even it up. They won by two. They're up in game three. Please win. Game four, we win. Win game five. All right, we're going to a game seven against Milwaukee if we want to get past Milwaukee here. I really do not want to lose. Milwaukee is a very good team, but I've built this up for an Allen Iverson to go get a ring. This is a very close game. Oh, they're starting to run away with it. 
Oh my goodness. No way. We're going to lose to Milwaukee, man. That is so annoying. Okay. 95 to 115, 24 and 12. We lose. And I mean, I feel like I didn't mean to click Simcast. Thankfully, it didn't jump me in. But the Bucks going to win the championship. We'll run it back one more year. That's it. One more year. We'll give this one more chance. And if we can't win, then it's GG's. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the last and final playoffs. We are the first seed again. I believe we won like 68 games, which is kind of crazy. But if we look at the player stats, 23, 21, 19, 16. And then we did sign Glenn Robinson in free agency. That was the one thing we did change a little bit. So that's pretty much it. But other than that, the rotation is the same. We lost like, I believe it was Tyrone Hill that we had. So instead, I signed Glenn Robinson. So... He was a better overall, which made a lot of sense, which made our bench even better. So, I mean, this is it, man. If we can't win it here, then it's just not going to happen. So, it looks like we get past uh, Hornets here, which they got Chris Paul, which is interesting because that's kind of what happened in real life. But if we can't get past the Bucks here in round two, that's going to be tough. But let's simulate current round against the Hornets, and we are going to beat them in five. So, now we get the Milwaukee Bucks. This team eliminated us last year. They did lose someone. They lost uh, Michael Red, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So, that should help us out a little bit. They still have Ray Allen. They still have San Cruzel. So it's not like this is a total easy matchup. But them losing one of their starters is definitely very helpful. So game one, they're up one to zero, though. We even it up. Game three, they're up two to one. Uh, game five, we have to win. Or game six, we have to win. Can we beat them in six? We do. Okay, that was tough. We get to play the Washington Wizards now, who have Larry Hughes, Goodwin, Stackhouse, Mar Odom, Tyson Chandler. That's a pretty good team they have in Washington. But I'm still feeling confident about the roster we have. It looks like they're starting Mohammed over Curry, which is interesting. But... Game one, up one to zero. Game two, up two to zero. Game three, come on, we can do this. Game four, game five, we're back in the finals and we get to deal with the Jazz and not the Spurs or the Lakers. So this has got to be the ultimate ticket. Gilbert Arenas, Chris Kamen, Monty Ginobili, and Andre Karolinko, AK-47, Ursan Ilyasova as well. This has got to be it, man. This is our ticket. This is, this is the chance to get Allen Iverson a championship. Down one to zero, down two to zero. Down three to zero, and we're gonna really lose this Jazz team in five. Wow. Okay. GG's. Gilbert Arenas goes out there and stops Allen Iverson from winning a championship. Made it to the finals twice. It did not matter. Hope you boys enjoyed the video. Regardless, I'm gonna end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on Monday. Enjoy your Sunday. You know, nice little break from everything. So gonna be watching football all day for me at least. But other than that, guys, this is Crushables. I'm saying. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.